Hey YouTube, it's Nick with another video today trying to answer the question, do you need a utility trailer? Now if you're doing homesteading, which is what we're geared toward here, or if you just live kind of remote and have a single family house that you're trying to own and maintain, then I think the answer is yes. I'm going to say the answer is yes, even if you already have a pickup, but especially if you don't have a pickup truck, but you might have another vehicle like a sport utility vehicle that could cope with one of these, then I think this is a much better investment. So what we're talking about today, guys, is a cheap tractor supply trailer. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but it does everything we need it to do. So it's a single axle, it's a 10 foot bed, and I think they say that the capacity is one ton. Uh, it might be like 2,100 pounds, but it's essentially one ton, which is a lot. So if you've got a light pickup truck like a Toyota Tacoma with a six foot bed, it's convenient. I'll grant you that. This is a little bit less convenient if you're picking up small items, maybe six bags of chicken feed, then it's great to have a pickup truck. But what if you want to pick up an eight foot chest freezer? Are you going to put that in your six foot truck bed? You can. It's going to hang out a bit. You're going to need maybe a bit of help getting it loaded. Why not use something like this? And even though it's a 10 foot trailer, I mean, for those who aren't familiar, It has a load gate. So say you pick up that eight foot chest freezer, you can just slide it in. I mean, yeah, you can have a ramp for a truck bed too, but typically they're a lot higher. This is just walk on. Or if you go to a yard sale and you want to pick up a couch, I mean, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of benefits to this. Plus, even though the deck, the wooden deck is only 10 feet long, show you guys a trick here which a lot of you probably know but if you've never used a trailer before um, you would think you'd only be able to fit 10 foot items in here thing is you have to lock these pins back out of the way but there there you have an unlimited trailer so when we were cutting new stringers for a new set of stairs in the house, I needed 16 foot 2x12s. I was able to move them with this. Uh, I was able to just cheat them. Forward. About three feet, four feet past where the trailer ends here towards the center. So they can overhang this way. And then you only got two or three feet hanging off the back, which really isn't that much if you guys have moved stuff in the bed of a pickup truck. I mean, you might need to tie a flag on there. But, I mean, it's really not that much of a hazard. So like I said, guys, two years ago, this was 1500 bucks, Might be slightly more now. Um, if you've never used one before, I mean, obviously it's not as convenient as having a pickup truck bed. Uh, I'll probably show in a different video, like hooking this up, but... As long as you have a ball hitch on your vehicle, I mean, it's pretty easy. You just drop it on there, lock it down, two safety chains and an electrical connection. Um, easy peasy. So I would highly recommend that if you guys are just starting out or maybe you've been at it for a while and it's kind of a pain when you need to move something big, um, this is an important piece of equipment. $1,500 is not that much, guys. If you're thinking about getting like a farm truck, a beater truck, it's nice in theory, maybe if you don't have uh, inspection requirements in your state, it's not too much you have to do to it, but honestly, what happens when an O2 sensor goes? Or There's a lot that can break on a truck. This trailer, I mean, you could replace this whole trailer for less than the repair bill on a beater truck that you're probably going to have every single year. Uh, and I've had it for two years. Like I said, it's a cheap trailer. I think it's probably going to be around for several more years before I have to decommission it. And they're easy to fix. I mean, the deck is wood. Get some pressure treated 2 by 6s you can replace that. Start getting some issues with the frame. Um, if you know how to weld, that's pretty easy to fix with some angle iron. And chances are you can find somebody who can weld for you pretty cheap. So, uh, not a lot of cost or ownership involved. And this can do more, move more weight, move bigger objects than any pickup truck is going to at a much more reasonable cost.
All right. Thanks, guys. Hope that was helpful. Tune in next time, and don't forget to subscribe and like the channel.